brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. The Miser Family Farm near Marshall, Missouri is home to more than a few classic tractors. I've got uh, the whole 20 series. This is an 820 and come out of western Kansas. This 720 uh, is a local tractor and the 620 is a local tractor. Uh, my dad and I used to farm the 620 and 720 years ago. I've got all the 30 series, but they're not in order, but uh, this is a 730 and a 430 here, and there's a 530 and a 630 there, and the 830 is up there in the yard. Ken's green machines look mighty fine, but we're here to tell you about his twins. Yep, take a long look at this matched pair. They're not dressed alike, but there's no doubt they are two of a kind. Uh, one's an Oliver Super 99 with a three-cylinder Detroit engine, and uh, one's a 98 Massey with the three-cylinder Detroit engine, both identical tractors. When we found the Oliver, we, we was really enthused about it, and then I didn't know anything about the Massey until Dad come dragging it home one day and said, this is the twin to this tractor here, and I said, oh, it can't be. He says, yeah, I'll go look at it. And sure enough, it was the same thing. And uh, so we just started working on it. And I really like these two because they're so comparable. And all, there is, all the difference is that we can tell is the hoods. And uh, that's what drawed us to these two tractors. Uh, about all the difference between these two tractors is uh, the grill and the hood. Uh, Oliver's got the bar grill and uh, and the massive here's got the this green type grill and uh, and the hood and that's uh, and the decal here. Of course, Oliver's got a decal on the front too, but that's basically the only difference. Everything else, uh, engine and drive chain and uh, frame and everything else, identical between the two. When he got the twins, Ken knew they needed a lot of tender love and care to restore them to their former glory, and he knew just where to find help with that TLC capable hands of his sons, Paul and John. Well, they was in there getting their hands greasy, too. <laughs> uh, Paul's the painter. Uh, he does all the painting. And John, he uh, he's the grease monkey. When I got home, the motor was laying in pieces all over the shop, and he kind of handed it to me and walked off, said, here, here you go. <laughs> Put her back together. Well, the Oliver was uh, pretty fair condition. About all we'd done to it was uh, give it the paint job. And uh, the Massey was in sad shape. We went through it from front to rear. The engine was stuck, the rear end was out of it, and it was just in pretty bad shape. I spent probably a good month, month and a half, putting the engine back together, putting all, just tracking down the parts I needed for it, but on the wayside, getting them and ringing it and just little odds and ends, parts I needed, putting it back together. It wasn't too awful difficult, but it was a challenge. In between their farm work, it took the Miser men about five months to get the Massey back in like new condition. Helping Dad restore tractors was nothing new for this family. Classic tractor fever first hit here better than 20 years ago. I was real enthused about it because I like tractors. I was basically cutting my teeth on a steering wheel and uh, we was going to collect and maybe do a little tractor pulling, go to a few shows, maybe do some in the parades and different things. And it just kind of snowballed into what it has today, as you can see. Today, the misers have a wall full of trophies from tractor pulling with machines like the Super 99. This draw bar on this tractor, we took the original swing and draw bar off and bolted this draw bar on there for pulling contest and put this on there for rear weights and uh, we've pulled this tractor I think in the 9,000 and 10,000 pound class and it's uh, real competitive. The Oliver Super 99 is a 1957 model and its twin the Massey Ferguson 98 built by Oliver for Massey is vintage 1962. For their day both these tractors are big beefy machines each rated 77 horses of pulling power at the draw bar. This draw bar on this tractor is original and it's a 
that draw bar for a four or five ply tractor is as heavy as uh, they put on a these big four wheel drives today. That's a very, real heavy draw bar. The power plant on these twin tractors is identical. A Detroit two cycle, three cylinder engine. Easily identified by the two air cleaners with twin intakes above the hood. Raw power? These tractors had plenty. Uh, very much so. All you got to do is pull the throttle down and <laughs> they sound louder than anything else. It draws attention real quick. <laughs> They're a real proud attention get attention getter. Everybody turns their head when you fire one of them up, the way they sound. They, they draw a pretty good crowd. Yes, sir. Twins do have a way of getting people's attention. And in the case of these classic tractors times two, it's just double the fun for the miser father and sons. We're just uh, well, we're happy with what we're doing. Maybe someday my maybe me and my son can do something together. <laughs>